Nicola, what are you digging up of mine? So <laughs> this is a plant I have wanted for so long and every year I say to myself, I must go down to Susanna. This is pokeweed. Uh, I love the look of pokeweed and the berries in the autumn provide the most wonderful natural dye. Do have to be careful with the plant because for some people they're allergic to the sap and all parts of the plant. So I'm going to be putting this into my new print borders at Clashin. Oh, that's fantastic. It is an extraordinary looking plant. And as a child uh, in the States, uh, we had cousins in Maryland and we had, they had white ponies. And we used to take the American pokeweed berries and paint the ponies. Wow. With hand prints and all kinds of things and played like we were Indians. Wow. My goodness, that one is very deep. It is. Um, so and our clothes would get stained by the, the berries. Um, by the berries. It's very a strong, strong dye. Uh, that's for sure. I'm I'm bending, <laughs> bending your fork. No, here. well that fork is a, <laughs> maybe. I think I bent it a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> you might get it, bend it in the right direction. You yeah. never know because it was already bent. <laughs> yeah, I have great memories of going for a wonderful dinner in Auburn in California and going with my friend Keith Smith. Uh, while Meredy, his wife, another good friend, Meredy was practicing for her orchestra. And Mer Keith and I went for a lovely dinner with um, Meredy's friend Paula. And outside Paula's property, there was a big patch of the pokeweed. And I just have such great memories. It was a lovely evening. We had a beautiful meal. We had a lovely glass of wine and the pokeweed. I remember thinking, oh, I wish I could bring this home. And here it is and in Ireland, is. brought here by my grandfather. Wow, really? Yes. Wow. He was fascinated by it when he, when he saw it in the USA well, I'm uh, visiting us. <laughs> There's a root here that actually is like the root of a tree. Look at this. Yeah, no, they're huge. They've, I mean, that has been there for so long. It is massive. I'm not quite sure. I was, I, I no, well, you can, dig, you can dig it out and around. Yeah, that, I'm just wondering though, is it... I'm yeah, dig, dig it out. Thing. I think do a bit of digging out. Is it actually... Or it could, the be the, it could be the grapevine that's to your right. But I think it's the pokeweed because pokeweed oh, no, roots are very thick. Oh, it's but yeah. what I'm wondering is, is it turning going under the wall? Oh, well, here, I hope not. because Well, no, it wouldn't because the other side of the wall is the shed. So there's no liquid sustenance or fertility there. <laughs> I think you just yeah, have well, to dig turning. down. It's turning. It's turning. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and there's another bit going off down this way. Well, the thing is... Well, we can dig it out and you can get as much as possible and then give it a good manure bone meal absolutely. Um, feed when you plant it. Um, which I haven't been using. I have wonderful wor a wormery with the most amazing... Excellent. Oh, look, it's already moving. Well, I don't know to what degree, but I'll come under it here. Nicola's resorted to brute force to dig out this American pokeweed. She's so determined. <laughs> I've learned from my friends who took out my miscanthus last weekend. A pick is your man. A pick is your man. It is indeed. <laughs> my coat off <laughs> that's okay it, it's good exercise who needs a gym as i stand watching you yeah. doing nothing yeah. okay. maya thinks she's gonna come and help you oh. there's oh, movement don't this nice, no don't break me spade <laughs> <laughs> Well, once this pokeweed, American pokeweed, is removed, we can, uh, uh, we'll um, plant in here for, we'll have lovely tomatoes at some stage. Ooh. I hope. Spade is going right down there, but it's just. Yeah, no, it's to get, it's release huge, it from big... the wall. Yeah, it's the. Look at this, the, the pink. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, I was gonna hold it up for you. Look at the pink. There is yeah, incredible. No, the color. But Actually, it, it would be like interesting. An elephant's leg. It's. What root. also would be interesting is whether the root gives natural dye. 
that would be because very interesting. Because sometimes the roots of plants die. Yes, that would be very interesting. Now, Pepper, you're not coming with me. Go on. No, I know Go Pepper on. would love to. He's a huge well, fan no, of yours. Well, no. Well, look at that. But I mean, I do find that the the color of the naughty bit is a beautiful. That's well, that's it's sort of suggesting of the what the color is going yes. to be like later on. As well as it kind of suggests the magenta color of the fruit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at the end. Yeah, no, this is fantastic because I'll be able to divide it a little bit and that'll give me a couple of really good clumps. Yes. So I'm thrilled. <laughs> Excellent. It. Thank you so much. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs>